Clifton, Virginia wasn't always the growing suburb it is now. At the start of the 20th century, Clifton was a small farming community established around a railway stop. As the town grew, the residents were unhappy that they were so close to a state insane asylum, so they passed a measure to shut the asylum down. As the patients were being moved to a newly built Lorton prison, one convict escaped, Douglas Griffin. Griffin had been committed after he brutally killed his parents with an axe on Easter morning when he was 12. The local police searched the woods for two months, but all they found were several half-eaten and mutilated rabbit corpse. On Halloween, three local teenagers disappeared. That night, bloodhounds looking for the kids led officers to a small bridge with a rail line at the top and a road running under the bridge. Hanging from the bridge were the missing teens, disemboweled like rabbits in the woods. The teens had been walking to a friend's house and apparently found Griffin hiding under the bridge. Griffin himself stood at the top of the bridge waving an axe and wearing a makeshift bunny mask out of rabbit fur. As he laughed, he was struck by an oncoming train. In writing about the tragedy, the papers all wrote about the bunny man of Clifton. The following year on Halloween night, a couple of teens were driving with their girlfriends, looking to scare them. They decided to go out to the old railroad bridge where the bunny man was killed. It was almost midnight. The boy stopped under the bridge and dragged the scared girls out of the car, teasing them that the ghost of the bunny man would get them. The teasing became too much for one of the girls who pushed the boys away and ran out from under the bridge into the road. At that moment, at that exact stroke of midnight, she saw a bright flash of light under the bridge. When the light faded, she saw her friend's bodies mutilated and hanging from the bridge. Their car had a bloody axe stuck into the windshield. Every since that night, local kids gather every Halloween at Bunny Man Bridge, but they all scatter before midnight, as none want to be caught under the bridge when the Bunny Man comes. The Bunny Man legend started in the 1970s and has its roots in unrelated real-life events. In the late evening of October 18, 1970, Air Force Cadet Robert Bennett and his fiance was driving near Colchester Bridge and had to slam on their brakes when they came across a man wearing what looked like a full body rabbit suit. Something that looked like bunny ears on his head and a small hatchet in his hand. The man yelled at the couple that they were trespassing on his land before he threw the hatchet through their windshield and ran into the woods. Though neither Bennett nor his fiance were hurt, they were shaken by the incident and couldn't provide a lot of details. With his pale outfit and ear like head covering, Bennett and police initially thought that the man was a member of the Ku Klux Klan. The man dubbed the Bunny Man by the newspapers was seen less than two weeks later by a construction site security guard. The guard was making his rounds at a new housing development and caught the Bunny Man using an axe to smash the roof supports of new houses being built. After the newspaper ran the story, the Bunny Man called the local authorities saying that he was against the spread of new housing divisions into his woods. Based on his voice and eyewitness accounts, police determined the Bunny Man was a local teen upset with the new housing development. He told police he would meet them at the Colchester Bridge on Halloween, but never showed and he was never seen again. The events were reported in newspapers around the country, and teens from all over Virginia started to make their way to Colchester Bridge to look for the Bunny Man. Over 50 Bunny Man sightings were reported everywhere from Maryland to Washington, D.C., though none were confirmed as real. The supernatural legend of the Bunny Man's ghost came when local teens connected the Bunny Man's news report to an unsolved murder of a local girl that happened in 1918. 14-year-old Eva Roy was found beaten to death and hanged near Colchester Bridge, and the prime suspect was an escaped mental patient who broke out of Lorton Prison, though he was eventually proved innocent of the crime. As years passed and the legend spread, teens near the bridge would go on bunny man hunts in the woods, especially near Halloween. However, as new housing developments got closer to the once remote bridge, the area was placed under surveillance by the police. Though you can still drive under Bunny Man Bridge, any stoppings near the bridge is considered trespassing and carries a $250 fine. <laughs>